Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I am not in my basement uh, in this video because I wanted to uh, do a little test on an AC unit and seeing what it takes to power this AC unit off grid and also how long it can run for. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, we are in our upstairs spare bedroom. Here is the AC unit that I'm going to be using in this test. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, it is a uh, Soyuz Air. Uh, it's a portable air conditioner. Model is uh, GMPAC08E3. Um, it's rated for 115 volts at 60 hertz. Uh, and it says 24A, I'm not sure what that means. Um, but then the cooling capacity, it's an 8,000 BTU air conditioner. Um, it says the cooling power input is 760 watts. Cooling rated current input is 6.7 amps. So that's gonna be something we need to uh, keep in mind. Uh, and then it shows the high and low side pressures, the weight, the isolation. If that stuff makes sense to you, uh, that's great, uh, but I really don't care about it. All I care about are these numbers right here. So yeah, if you wanna know more about this, I would probably just do a Google search on this. This air conditioner was actually given to me by my parents. Um, so thank you so much, mom and dad, for this. Um, it has come in handy more times than you can ever count. So thank you. Uh, but here are the inverters that we're going to be using in this test. First, we have a 500 watt inverter. Uh, it is, uh, you know, pretty cheap. Uh, it's, it's not gonna power that unit. I, I know for a fact it's not going to, but I wanna hook it up to a battery and just kind of show you what will happen. Next, we have the Alpha 1500 watt inverter. This may do it um, because on that unit, it did say that it will only draw 670 watts but the startup wattage is what I'm concerned about. This might not be able to pull that. So then after that, we have the 2000 watt Lee Sky inverter. This inverter should have enough power to start up this air conditioner and, and keep it running. If not, we will go with the, uh, we will go with the MX Moon Free 5000 watt inverter. I didn't bring it up here because I don't think we're gonna need it. The battery that we're gonna be using is the SOK. 12 volt, 100 amp hour, uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. This should be able to do it. The reason I'm picking this battery is because it does have Bluetooth, uh, which I can monitor on my phone. So that way we can see the power draw and uh, be able to see the, the depth of discharge that this battery takes. Uh, and currently right now, I am actually charging this battery because I want to get it up to 100%. Uh, and so I'm using the, uh, the Hasido 20 amp charger. The battery says it's at 93%. So we're gonna let that get up to 100 before we start this test. I have a clock right here with an indoor temperature gauge. And right now it is 82.9 degrees in this room. The reason for that is because I'm actually heating this room with this heater because it's actually beautiful outside. I think it's uh, 65 degrees outside and sunny. So um, I had to use this heater to heat this room up. So once we start the test, uh, my plan is I'm gonna turn this heater off because I want to mimic, if your power goes out and it's really hot outside, um, you know, your room will heat up pretty quick. So I wanted to get this room pretty warm. Um, I do understand that because it's not that hot outside, you know, this test is a little skewed on that because the outdoor heat isn't going to be heating this room. Uh, it's only gonna be artificially heated by this heater, which I will be turning off when I start this test. But in the air conditioner side, on the air conditioning side, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, I will be starting it up. I will be having it set at 70 degrees. And I'm gonna to try to keep this room at 70 degrees. And I wanna see how long I can keep this room at 70 degrees. So that's gonna be the test. The test is gonna be what it takes to power it, what it takes to turn it on, and then how long a 12 volt battery will keep this room 
at 70 degrees. Okay, while I'm waiting for this battery to charge up to 100%, I went ahead and measured the room. The room is a 11 by 10 foot room. So that would be, uh, you know, 110 square feet. Uh, and it's got eight foot ceilings. So we're talking a 880 cubic foot room. All right, well, our SOK battery is all charged up now. So let's go ahead and uh, hook it up to the 500 watt inverter and see what happens. Okay, so we have our 500 watt inverter uh, connected to the battery. We have uh, our extension cord going to a uh, watt meter right here so we can, so we can maybe see uh, pretty much the highest wattage draw that it does. And uh, let's go ahead and plug in the air conditioner and just see, see what happens. Also, it's 86.7 degrees in this room. All right. All right. It the air conditioner beeped, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And just like that, uh, it stayed on for about two seconds, but as soon as it tried to click on the inverter aired out. And that's exactly what I expected. All right, so now we're gonna hook up the 1500 watt alpha inverter and see if it will power this air conditioner. All right, next up we have our alpha 1500 watt inverter. Uh, it is again connected to this cord. It's going to this watt meter and the AC is plugged in right here. So let's go ahead and turn on the AC unit and see if this will power it. All right, it's, uh, it's actually blowing air, uh, but it's only blowing at 90, it's only, it's only powering 90 watts right now. So I wanna wait until it actually clicks on the condenser inside the air conditioner to make sure that it will work. The temperature in this room right now is also 85.2. And the AC has not kicked on yet. All right, the AC just kicked on. Uh, we're up to 460, 400, 454 watts. I'm gonna see what the highest wattage says on the watt meter. All right, and I mean, it does show that the highest, it looks like it's, it's moving up and up. It is blowing cold air, which is really nice. It's up to 500 watts but it never had like an initial start, uh, like a big boost of amperage at the beginning. At least not enough to trip this, uh, this 1500 watt alpha inverter. I really don't have a reason to plug in that, in that 2000 watt inverter because this 1500 watt alpha is powering it just fine. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this run and we're gonna see how long a 100 amp battery will will uh, keep this room cool. But just by looking at this right here, it's now using 574 watts. Um, it looks like we're only gonna get maybe two hours out of this battery. Uh, and also, I wanted to show you the, uh, the app on the SOK battery. So let's go ahead and pull it up right over here. And uh, as you can see, the voltage is 12.93, um, and it is currently pulling 52 amps out of this battery. So if you multiply those together, twelve point nine three times fifty one. So it's pulling about six hundred and sixty watts from the battery right now, and this is a twelve hundred and eighty watt hour battery. So that's where I got 
the, uh, the time frame of two hours. But I am probably going to be mistaken because this will only run at full strength until this room gets down to 70 degrees. Once it hits 70 degrees, that AC will turn off and only the fan will run, which is right around 90 watts. So this may run for three or four hours. So we're going to find that out. But I'll come back in an hour and uh, we'll see what everything looks like. Okay, well, it's been an hour and uh, this air conditioner is still running. Uh, the temperature of this room, it shows it to be, I don't know if you can see that, but it says 73 degrees. So it's cooled off substantially in this room. Um, when I walked in, I noticed the air conditioner, uh, it's, it switched off. So now it's just blowing the fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the uh, SOK battery and see what it shows. Okay, and I'm just gonna show it to you uh, just from the camera. But it shows right now that the, uh, the state of charge of the battery is at 66%. Uh, currently we're using, uh, uh, we're still using eight amps at 13 volts. So that's, uh, that's like a hundred and, you know, 110 to 120 watts. And that's just with the fan running. So let's see what it says on the AC side here. On the AC side, uh, let's see. I'm trying not to get the camera, there we go. On the AC side, that, uh, right now the high the high wattage amount on this uh, test so far has been 628. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see what it shows we're using right now. It shows that we're using 76.1 watts. So 76 watts here. And our battery shows 13.07 um, volts and 9 amps. So Let's just say 13 times nine is uh, 117 watts. So we're losing like 40 watts. Let's see, uh, on the inverter itself, it shows, oh look, yeah, the AC just clicked on and you just look at it drop. It shows that it's 113 volts and it's using 4.5 amps from the inverter. Let's see what this says. Okay, the meter. Uh, the voltage, it says 111.4. So it's pretty close to the inverter. The inverter says 112. And the amperage says 4.7. So yeah, this, this and this are showing the exact same amounts. Okay, so yeah, after an hour, you know, we're down to 65% battery life, but the room, I think, is, uh, you know, around 70 to 72 degrees. So this air conditioner behind me is going to be clicking off and on. And so I bet that we get another two hours out of it. But I'll come back in an hour and we'll see where our state of charge is at our battery. All right, well, we're back here after two hours of this uh, air conditioner running on this uh, 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and if you look at the uh the sok app it does show that our state of charge is at 33 percent so it's only gone down what uh well it's gone down about a third since the last hour so it looks like we might be able to get three hours uh of runtime from this air conditioner, which again, this air conditioner, I believe is an 8,000 BTU air conditioner, and it is set at 70 degrees. Uh, hey, Keats, what? what's the temperature say over there on that clock? 70. Yep, so the temperature is 70.8 in here right now. So the air conditioner is keeping this room nice and cool, and I'm hoping we can get another hour out of it. So. I will come back in uh, 45 minutes and we'll see where we're at.
Okay, well, it's been another 45 minutes, and when I walked in, it was pretty quiet in here. Uh, the inverter shut off, the battery, I'm guessing, is dead. We'll look at the app, but yeah, everything has been shut off. And it probably wasn't too long ago because the temperature in this room is still 70.6. But luckily, if we put power back onto uh, this meter, it will show us the running time that it had. So we'll look at that as soon as we get some power back into this unit. All right, so what I did was I just grabbed my, uh, my little Flash Fish 560 right here. We'll go ahead and unplug this. Unplug the air conditioner. Plug this in. Turn on the AC. Plug in our meter. And our meter shows, can't really read that very well, but the meter shows three hours and four minutes. That's the amount of, uh, that's the amount of uh, time that the air conditioner was running. So that's, how, that's about an hour more than I thought it would because it, I mean, you gotta remember it was 80, I think it was 87 degrees in here. It was either 85 or 87, but it was 85 degrees in here. It cooled it all the way down to 70 and it kept it at 70. Um, and it did all of that in three hours. So. If you were going to run this and you started off at 70 degrees, I mean, I don't know how long it actually took for it to get down to 70. Because remember in that first hour, the first hour I came back, the temperature on the thermostat over there still said 75, I think. Uh, and it wasn't until hour two that it was reading 70. So I think you would be able to squeeze more of more time out of this battery if your room temperature was lower. Or, you know, we had this set at 70. You could have it set at 75 and still probably be pretty comfortable. But those, those are the numbers I got for the settings that I had. So from going from 85 degrees down to 70 and keeping it at 70 degrees in an 880 cubic foot room, uh, you can run it for three hours on a 12 volt battery with a 1500 watt inverter. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or if you have any comments about how I uh, ran my test, please leave it in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.